Okay, I've got it on, all right? Huh? I've got it on, okay? Hello, everyone. If I could ask you to please gather, we're going to make a semicircle, and we're going to ask you not. Testing, testing. Hello, everyone. If I could ask you to please gather, we're going to make a semicircle, and we're going to ask you not to block the video cameras so that um, they have a good video. So please come all the way over this side. You can come all the way around. Um, and come as close as you can so you can hear. There's lots of room over here. Nobody wants to be here. Thank you. So I'm going to ask you that you uh, get comfortable as much as you can. I know it's chilly. It's kind of a beautiful day, though. We need the rain. Terry Allen, and I was a customer of Henry's, of Robert's. I got to be through the name change. And I'm also a Lutheran pastor, which may seem odd to some of you, but uh, we had many great discussions together. We had a good time. I spent a lot more time in the shop than he spent cutting my hair sometimes. And um, many of you have had those wonderful discussions also. And um, the good times of sharing. And I had the privilege of being able to surprise him a little bit because he didn't know that a Christian pastor could uh, discuss these things and not be all upset. And that he could hear some of the things I believed in. Lo and behold, traded language and words and thoughts and a lot of love. So that's who I am. And I'm going to get to hear more about each of you. So let's begin. Blessed be the one who comforts us in all our sorrows, so that we can comfort others in their sorrows. We've set aside a little bit of time here for sharing. And I would like to invite you to come. You don't have to come and share. But because of the wonderful wealth of memories that are here, I'm going to ask you to choose your favorite one your favorite shortest one, and then after our time, after this time together, we will, um, you can continue sharing with one another, of course, afterwards too, because there's a lot to say and a lot to tell about Henry's wonderful life. And so, um, we're going to just invite you to come, and... Um, uh, he was going to come here, we were born a day before day apart, we'd be powers about what we did and all that business, but... Hi, my name's Lou, Lou Corona, and I had a chance to get uh, Robert, you know Robert for about two years, and um, every time I got to see him and spend some time with him, it was always, uh, but if I was going to say anything on a bottom line level, that was the, the main thing that I could get from him, hey, is the best love that he had for for all of us. And uh, so I came for that reason, just to share that one thing. This is Miss Love. There's Robert Hay. Robert, I still call him Robert. Ted, I've known him about 15 years. And uh, there's one thing I can say about Robert. That's a bad, nasty word about anybody. Never have I ever heard him say a bad word about anybody. And I think he was a great, great guy. And someday I hope to see him again and shake hands. Andy Fellow. And I went to him after I had to get approval from my Chicago hair cutter because I won't just let just anybody cut my hair. But we immediately started talking about anything and everything. We had a lot to share. The one thing recently in my life that made me think I should share this is the love of animals and this beautiful Siamese cat and there were other cats, maybe 
would make the cat food himself. So anybody who loves animals, that's the one Robert, thing. That's Robert, that's Robert. There's Robert Hay right there with the glasses. Henry, thank you. Definitely Bob. Up to seven yeah. years, my name is Mike. One thing I would add is it's an incredible sense of humor. I was actually joking with Bruce that maybe we'd come here and find out he just wanted to see who would come to his funeral. <laughs> but uh, I'm still waiting, Robert, wherever you are. But uh, incredible sense of humor, fabulous person, and uh, really showed me what it means to be a friend. So thank you, and I believe you're right here right now. Yeah. Tell me, uh, yeah. I haven't seen Robert or Henry uh, probably every six or seven Saturdays since 1980, maybe one of his longest clients. And, um, I uh, didn't know him too well on the outside, but um, I got to say, you know, more than just going to get my hair cut, I was always looking forward to the talks we would have, the name thing, and just all the inspiration the man had. And um, he really came from a good place. He was just full of love and happiness. And um, I'm definitely going to miss him here. That's Peter Katz. That's the son of a bitch with your phone. Celebration of Henry's life. God revealed himself through Henry. God is great. God created the word and anointed Henry, revealing himself through Henry's insights. Henry's connection with what is invisible to us through sight created the word and the alphabet. Wow. Oh, that's we first. all live here that in real time. How really awesome. awesome. Is is Robert 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 that's Robert Hay. That's for sure and simple, Robert Hay. That's Robert Hay. Right. He was able to, to describe his hair is tucked up underneath it. Of our individual psyche produced by our work. And to the sun, I say, early sun, I love you. Here's Henry standing next to Robert Taylor <coughs> in the background. The Robert Taylor, the that's the guy that's him. With the hat. Robert Jr. with the other hat, the white hat. Right. The dark hat is Robert Taylor. That's the one who trained Robert. That's Katrina. Uh, in the beginning of the work. Uh, the world. Nothing good. The best part was playing frisbee with Robert in every. Mesmer. Where's Felice? I didn't see her in the pictures. Uh, his ex wife? His ex wife. Yeah, his ex wife, I bet. Everyone says she's, like, moved to. Uh, Hello, my name is Bruce. Uh, uh, I miss Henry yeah. about three years ago, uh, being in the music industry. Um, I remember back many years ago, he used to advertise so, in Music Connection magazine, uh, Long Hair Rocks. So, many years later, Little did I know he had become one of my best friends. <clears throat> I feel honored that I was able to be introduced to some of Henry's closer friends, also Phil and Holly, and actually was uh, on the phone with them uh, near the end, and uh, for whatever reason, I was pretty much there at his last breath. Here's Phil, Panakis. Um, I do entertainment all the time, and I, I get up and speak. Baba G. Find that's, it very that's Baba G. That's yeah, right. that's Baba G. He channels I, Baba G. You all know how he is. Bill Panakis, right uh, there. In the very tiny jacket. My life. He gave me the name of Rio, so I've got a postcard up in my bathroom, so I remember who I am, <laughs> what my name is every morning, and I'll definitely miss him. And um, yearly, uh, we'll stay in touch for sure. And uh, Henry even had a chance to meet my parents, and uh, what an impact that he left with them. Uh, did some healing with my parents, and uh, Henry and I we spoke at least a couple times a week. And it took me a long time before I he trimmed my hair before, but uh, he'd always convinced me that if 
I would let him cut my hair that he Mimi, Catherine, would make so fuller. And then I always thought, how could he do this when there's less hair? And okay. maybe Martin older, but right. I finally Martin one day, I trusted him and he actually did cut my hair. Oh, besides Therese. just the length. So, a married um, name. And I became a believer to a in his haircuts. In Chicago, <laughs> or? So, uh, I thank you all uh, for having me uh, That's here and being part of this, and we got and, uh, the sound system running and everything. Yep, it was Heather. There's Hurley That's next Hurley to Roberta. That's Hurley right Roberta. there with that haircut. Does he have any hair pirates. pirates? He's always... He looks... He's always... He's always... He's always... He's always... Robert Jr. Anyway, like the turn light light hat. Like that. Is that a wig, too? It sort of makes him look like Robert. We're going to actually give um, Henry the last word. So. Can we give Henry the last word? Just to give you an idea of what we've got here, the, there's three messages here that, uh, that were recorded by Michael many years ago. Was it Michael? Henry says it's very sexy. Mike if it doesn't just hang there. So it has to be. Thank you, George. Right. You can lose. The eloquence of how Henry speaks about hair. The next little segment is that's a hair fitness girl, the long hair and the long hair, hair is graphic. sexy hair. If it doesn't just hang there. Rapunzel, mm -hmm. with her hair down past her, near past the floor, actually, is just long, long hair for the sake of length. It doesn't balance the body, it doesn't bring out the curves, it doesn't bring out the gorgeousness of the face and the eyes. A true long hair cut yes. is fantastic. It flows from the, the crown of the head, frames the face, brings out the eyes, brings out the smile. Tapers down to fullness and length at the back, usually somewhere above or below the waist or the middle of the back, depending on the person. And it should balance the body and look appropriate. Just like four inch fingernails doesn't look good on the hand. The person who's got them, he loved them for their length. The length for their own sake doesn't work. Length for bringing out the beauty of the form of the person and their personality, that could be fantastic. So it takes the proper tapering, the proper layering, the right tools and movement in the right places, making sure there's nothing that's thinned out or straggly, and your being looks fresh and gorgeous, to fall into place without any work. If hair has good condition, it should simply <clears throat> be there and express itself in a beautiful way. If there is poor condition, then we have to use some product. That's a bad haircut, we well, need a good one. <laughs> and a good haircut is designed to hold a shape for at least three or four months. And should look good for 90% of that time, at least. A longer specialist loves length that wants it to balance the person. There are some that go for the Rapunzel look, and all you want to do is get your hair down to your knees, or below. <clears throat> That's not what we are. We're here to make your hair and your body balance and look beautiful together. End of quote. Robert Love is the fulfilling of the law. Love is the acceptance of the true idea related to life and appreciation of the magnificence of opportunities and the doing things with due care and consideration. To fulfill is to discriminate, to be one with true purpose, to be mentally alive, to have zero discrimination in the heart, and to do all things with intelligence and to aliveness. We just discussed the concept of courage as being heartage. So when you're a state in a state of fear, you need to enter your heart, which is what courage relates to according to the heart. When you go into your heart, you're fulfilled with love. And that love, as it fulfills you, 
allows you to wash away the fear and the tension through the concept of crying, because crying has the clarity from the C, the thoroughness of unlimitation from the R, and the activity of the from the Y. So when one has cried, one has removed and cleansed their heart completely, and then leads to a state of ease. That ease is a peaceful, relaxed state where the tension has been washed away through the tears. That's it. Thank you for listening. If anyone wants to um, have access to that, they can speak to Heather maybe, and she can send them a link, and you can listen to it again many times. Thank you. I need that link. And to please do that afterwards. Um, to share your memories in that way. And we're going to take a moment now and bless the memories that you do have. It is hard to find peace and comfort in the midst of grief, and I know that many of you are grieving in a variety of different ways, especially when it follows the loss of someone so special and so suddenly. But part of finding that peace is knowing that the person that you love isn't gone, but has just gone to a different place. And he still continues, and the essence of who he is carries on close, and to have them nearby, to feel Henry's presence and love with you. And each memory is special, each one that you shared and those that you thought about while other people were sharing, they're special, because they not only tell you about Robert, but they also tell you about who you were in relationship to him, and who you will continue to be. We honor those who have died before us by living our lives to the best possible fullness that we are able to do. Henry contained the very breath and spirit of God as to each and every one of you. And we honor that by continuing forward and by living in that love that he cared so deeply about. I hope that you will feel close to him and feel his close presence and also, as you live your life, as you spread that love to others, you'll know that he's never left you, but is always with you. After you've written the thoughts on the paper, those papers are going to be burned, and then in a private time with just his family, as they scatter the ashes, your memories will be scattered with his ashes. So please, as this time ends, the formal part of our time ends, make sure that you write something and put it into the box. There's Keiko, Kamada. Just a little bit more about that love and that courage Who's that seen? he cared so deeply about. Never seen. He was a generous man, absolutely generous, marveled at humanness, and, and was just so interested in people. The ultimate person to be cutting and, and doing things with hair because he was such an excellent listener and talker and you really felt like you had his full attention when you were with him. He was concentrating on you. And um, he used to tease me a lot because he used to, I'd walk in and he'd say, are you ready for your new name? And I'd say no and he'd say okay. Um, so, you know, we, we had that constant batter going back and forth. We would share books with each other and conversations. But mostly that great love, that great love that we all live in, that we are all called to exist in. Part of the quote that you heard is, is um, and some of you best, may not yes. know this, he, he was quite a biblical student, and he read the Bible. And so that quote came, and that, that love is the law that we live in is directly from Scripture. And he believed that Scripture had a lot to teach us. And so I'm going to ask you today to take his word for it that we live in love. And there's um, a verse in Romans that talks about that if you are in that love, nothing can separate you. Beneath the days ahead in the comfort of a holy and certain hope and in the joyful expectation of being reunited with Henry, whom they love. There's you, Pin Lee, and uh, her sister. I'm now going to read a Jewish litany about Rebecca George. In the rising of the sun... And in its going down, we remember. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we remember. In the opening of buds and in the rebirth of spring, 
we remembered. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of summer, we remember. In the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember. No, that's her relief. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember. So long as we live, they too shall live. For they are now a part of us as we remember. So you think you're saying, uh, I invite you to have a moment of silence to pray as you would pray. A long hair dresser, too, right? Mm-hmm. Or a little yeah. short hair. A mild hair dresser. Whatever you call it. But he's made up specially, look just like the other guy. Yeah, that was just him there, passing by. <coughs> That's right, Robert, you busted. Look, he's fine. This is wrong. This yeah. is just so wrong. Robert Jr. is levels. looking around like. This As is it wrong. is a little chilly here. Look at this guy. There's a place. That Robert loved just down the street called the only place in town. They serve hot beverages. And um, yeah, if after you share a little bit of here, you can just leave your car and just wander down the street, or there may be parking down there too. But it was a place that he loved, and if you want to keep talking and sharing, it may keep you from going home with um, a chill. So um, that's, that's, that's an opportunity so for you if you would like to keep sharing with one another. He really liked that's that. That's Gloria's best friend. Sure, so. that that no, the lady in the sure and certain hope that we will be reunited, we oh, commend Henry to this new thing? journey of love oh, and life, you that out? you may bring glory and honor yeah. to this life and the next. Go in peace. Amen. Now there's Robert with his wig and the big heavy set kind of. Yeah, see right there with the shiny jacket, yeah. See, his his hair looks exactly like hers. Yeah. That's done up so he can keep long hair in there. Who's this guy? He looks like this. He actually looks like That's Henry. That's Henry's daughter. Well, that guy looks like Henry. That's Robert right there. The back of the back. Watch your talk away. She knows this. No, 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 no. She knows perfectly. She's talking at the store and everything. It's everybody else who's speaking Chinese.
Sasha Grove. Oh, Peter Thorne, who supposedly died, as reported to me. Keiko! Who's waiting? There, that's Keiko. She told me that he died a year later. Peter Thorne died too? Yeah, he died. And he had the phone number 626-795-1272. My old business number. She said that? When I was with her. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Very cute lady. Everybody there knows that they are being a fraud. Who's she? Who is that? One? And that she had to. Um, Who's that? Who was that one that I pointed out? No, the one before, skipping over damage area. That's uh, Hair Fitness uh, Jeannie Maxim right. to the right and Peter Katz to the left. You can't. You can't. Well, you can't. Both from Orange that, County. Don't touch your clean that thing, really. Yeah. <coughs> Huntington Beach, Orange County. Okay. Yes. So what's that bright glare? That's not on this side. They show not a flashlight or something. Burn. Put a burn in there so that you couldn't get a picture. <gasps> That's what. It is. That's Heather Cerise's husband on the right, the chef. Really. Okay, so. Where's that? Uh, he lived in, uh, let's see, the area. Everybody's here. 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 That's revealing. Where's the... You're on full screen. Okay. How long was that? I don't know. It was pretty long. It's like a fucking hour. Yeah. 